Okay, as the title implies, we're going to look at the four theories that unify biology. So, theory and certainty in relation to science. The theory is a set of hypotheses that have been tested many times and not rejected. This means it indicates a high degree of certainty. However, there's no absolute truth in science. Everything is open to more testing and reinterpretation. Acceptance of a theory is always provisional. Now, to the general public, when you use the word theory, it's often uh, used to mean what a scientist would call a, hypo a hypothesis, a lack of knowledge or a guess. However, to scientists, a theory represents that of which they are most certain, explanations supported by a wealth of evidence and experimental data. So when we use the word theory, the general public has kind of a slight differently interpretation of it than a scientist would. So we want to be careful when we look at some of these theories, um, such as cell theory, um, and so on and so forth, that the general public typically defines a theory a little bit more like a scientist would call a hypothesis, something that's got a eh, lack of knowledge or a guess. To a scientist, though, it's their most certain explanations. Again, it's like 99% certain that that's how it happens because of the high degree of certainty related to all the tests that have been done and no rejections to those tests. Here's another link to a YouTube video if you want to observe um, what's the difference between a scientific law and a theory there. So limitations of science. Science is, is limited to organisms and processes that can be observed and measured. There's also practical limits. Scientists can prove uh, options and understanding. Scientists cannot be relied upon to solve all problems. For example, what constitutes acceptable risk cannot be answered by science. You get into that when they do sort of experiments or evaluating certain things. What's acceptable risk? Well, science really can't answer that. So getting into uh, the four theories, the first one we're going to touch on here is gene theory. The information that determines what an organism is like is encoded in its genes. Genes are located along DNA molecules, deoxyribonucleic acid. The entire set of DNA instructions that specifies a cell is termed its genome. So while we pretty much accept this as fact, this actually is a, explained through the gene theory here. Again, something that scientists are 99% sure this is how it works. Even though it's a theory, again, not how the general public would define theory. The second theory is cell theory. All living organisms are composed of cells. Cells are the basic units of life. All cells come from other cells. So you can see, see here a cell dividing. Uh, I'm going through and we see all our little cells in this picture here. So initially we say all cells come from other cells. Makes sense, right? You see cells dividing. Uh, brings about the question of like, where did the first cell come from? Well, for right now, we're not going to get into that. We're just looking at the general idea of cell theory. Moving on, the theory of heredity. Genes represent traits of an organism and are inherited as discrete units. The chromosomal theory of inheritance. Genes are physically located on chromosomes. We've done Punnett squares, or looked at um, traits that are inherited, what's dominant, what's recessive. Uh, this is all supported by the theory of heredity. So it allows us to go through and create these Punnett squares to determine the percentage or the predicted percentage of offspring that will be one certain genotype versus another. Lastly, uh, the fourth theory that unifies biology in this class, the theory of evolution. All living organisms are related to one another in a common tree of life. Diversity of the living world is a result of natural selection. We see that here with the different bird beaks as um, Darwin came up with. Um, all the different birds that eat different um, food items so they weren't all competing may have all stemmed from one common ancestor that each developed de certain degrees of speciality. So if you didn't catch all four of those uh, theories, here they all are in one particular slide here. Uh, gene theory, cell theory, theory of heredity, and theory of evolution, and how they kind of all tie together and unify biology in this class because this is a biology class.